Way in dinner time gets near. And your wife has made it clear. It's your turn to cook, my dear. You have no need to fear. Make the dinner feed your spouse. Bring peace into your house. You can make it. If you're lucky, she will say. And life will be okay. Life will be okay. You can make it. Today's project is something I've never tried to make before, and that's a fatty. But on Canadian Thanksgiving, we had a ham, and my buddy said we should make a turkey fatty, which I've never seen before. So today, our first try at a turkey fatty. We're going to make the stuffing now. You could use leftover stuffing or stovetop stuffing, but I wanted to make a homemade stuffing specially prepared just for my turkey fatty. So I've got uh, three tablespoons of margarine that's just starting to bubble, and I'm going to throw in a half a cup of chopped onions and a half a cup of chopped celery. And just to make it a little bit different, I'm going to put a couple of uh, bits of raw sausage meat. You could use a third of a cup of bulk, but this is just some homemade skinless sausages I had around. And we're just going to stir this until the sausage is cooked through. It's been about two or three minutes. And I've been breaking any big chunks of the sausage up with the back of the spoon while I'm stirring it. And you'll see how the onions are just starting to get clear and the celery is just getting a little bit soft. You don't want to cook it right down. You still want a little crunch left, so this is perfect. We're going to start putting our dressing together now. So we'll put the sautéed onions, sausage, and celery into the mixing bowl. Make sure you get all the fat in there because it adds a bit of texture to the to the uh, dressing. Then you want to toss in, I've got two cups of fine breadcrumbs here. Make sure they're dry. You toss them in. Now normally in my bread stuffing I like to use cubes, but I want it finer in this because I'm going to be rolling it up. Then I'm going to put the seasonings in which include a quarter teaspoon of rosemary, a quarter teaspoon of savory, a quarter teaspoon of sage, a half teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And they're just going to go into the bowl. And we'll toss them around a bit to get them mixed with the breadcrumbs and the vegetables. Once they're all mixed up, we're going to add chicken stock. I can't tell you exactly how much to use because it depends on how dry your breadcrumbs are and the kind of breadcrumbs. But I'm going to start off with about a quarter of a cup. You want to get it all moistened. I'm going to add another quarter of a cup. And I think I'm going to need the last three quarters of a cup. I've gotten three quarters of a cup of stock out, but I'm going to want it a little moist because it's going to be rolled in to the turkey. Yeah, that's better. You can see how it's starting to form a bit of a clumped mass, and that's what we're looking for. There we go. Now that we've got it mixed in, though, because I've never made this before, and I'm using different breadcrumbs in that, I'm just going to give it a taste and make sure the seasoning's right. Right on. Remember, it is important to keep hydrated while you're cooking, so some internally consumed wine is needed. Now we're going to start forming the turkey to make our fatty. We've got two pounds of ground turkey meat, and we have a one gallon or about 11 by 10 inch Ziploc bag. You just want to nip the corners off so the air will come out, and then you want to put the turkey into the bag. And make sure you get the pad out. And then 
seal up your bag. Go. And the idea is to get the turkey rolled out flat in that bag. We'll just get a rolling pin and roll it out. Where did you learn this technique of using the bag? Well, it's quite well known on uh, smoking forums. I go to the smoking meat forums, and that's where I picked it up. But it's quite a common technique for making fatties. It gets you a nice, even square and the point is you don't really want any thin parts so try and press it out and get it even there we go nice square of ground turkey ah didn't quite get that corner there we go and nice and thinly rolled so now we're just going to cut the plastic off of the turkey This corner cut off. And you have a nicely shaped square of turkey. We we're just going to put some wax paper because that will make it easier to roll when we're going to over the turkey like this and turn the whole thing over so we can take the plastic off. Did a little mush there, but we'll just fix it up. There we go. Now, we want to put whatever stuffing you want in the fatty on the meat. So we have our dressing right here, and we want to put a layer of it on the meat, but we want to leave one edge to you to seal it on. So leave it about an inch from the edge up there. And you want a little bit in the end so you can seal it. I've got the dressing spread out evenly in a square over it, a little bit on the edges and an edge to seal with. Now to curl it, you want to get the wax paper to help you out. So you want to sort of lift it over and then peel the paper back, trying to keep all the stuffing inside. And keep lifting the wax paper, it'll stop you from tearing it. And then pull some paper back and then just seal that edge that you left with just a little bit of pinching and roll it over on that edge. And then you just want to seal your ends in like that. Now you can put cheese in your fatty and I was going to because I thought it would taste really good but after speaking to she who must be obeyed I found out I was wrong. So there is my formed fatty. Okay, we're going to make a bacon weave for our fatty because how can you cook anything that isn't wrapped in bacon? And what you do is you just lay out enough strips so that they're the same width as the strips are long. Now for this one that's about six, but if your bacon's cut thinner it might be seven or even eight. Okay, now what we're going to do is take one strip of bacon and we're going to fold every second one of these back like this and we're going to lay a strip of bacon on there. Then you're going to fold this back so that you end up with an overlap on your weave. Then you're going to take the ones that are underneath and you're going to fold them over. And then you're going to put another strip of bacon over those and bring these ones down. Now you're going to take the ones that are underneath and fold them 
Oops, not the ones on top, the ones underneath, and fold them over. And there you have a bacon leaf. That's going to be wrapped around our fatty. Okay, trying this for the first time, what we decide to do is put our fatty here and use the wax paper to just roll it over onto the fatty and then remove the wax paper. Well, you don't want it to break up like that, but our first patty, fatty looks like it's not going to be perfect. So, now I did this back afterwards because I should have done it to wrap the paper like that, but we'll do it this way. And we'll just take the bacon and we'll gently roll it over and there is a wrapped fatty. How's it look, Bill? It looks amazing. Um, it's bacon and it's a weave. Okay, now Make sure the, the seam of your weave is at the bottom so you get the nice display on the top. I'm going to put my fatty in a preheated 230 degree Fahrenheit smoker and I've got some apple pucks in here, applewood pucks, it'll start smoking soon to give it the flavor. It's going to take about three hours, so I'm going to put it in. And you'll notice I got some temperature probes I can use to keep track of the temperature of the smoker and of my fatty. Because it's got to get to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll put the probes ready. Now you can cook your fatty in an oven at 230 degrees, in a barbecue at 230 degrees, as long as you keep it 230 degrees without any direct heat so that the bacon cooks at the same time, the inside of the fatty gets to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the safe food temperature for ground turkey. The fatty has been in the smoker for two and a half hours and is at an internal temperature of 145. Now normally I just let it go for another hour or more till it got to a 165 internal temperature, but we're going out so we need to have dinner earlier, so I'm going to cheat, pull it out and put it in the oven at 350 for half an hour just to finish it off. It's looking good. The fatty was in the oven for about 20 minutes just to finish off at 350 because like I said we were in a hurry. We could have left it in the smoker. Looks wonderful. It got it up to 162, 163 internal temperature. I'm going to let it sit which will take it right up to the 165 it needs to be to be food safe and then we'll serve it. So it's time to carve. It sat for a good 15 minutes. Let it set. We'll just slice into it and see how it looks. Ah, there's your filling in the stuffing in the center. The pink around the edge isn't because it isn't cooked, it's because the nitrates in the bacon keep it pink. So let's put some of this on the plate. Gosh, that looks wonderful. A turkey fatty. So, let's give it a try and see how it is, Bill. Wonderful. Mmm. Mmm, that's not bad. Wonderful. And you can make it. When dinner time gets in, you can make it, you can make it. And your wife has made it clear. You can make it, you can make it. It's your turn to cook, my dear. You can make it, you can make it. You have no need to fear. You can make it. Make the dinner feature spouse, bring peace into your house, you can make it. If you're lucky, she will say, we will make it, we will make it. And life will be okay, life will be okay, you can make it.